Well, hey, my name's Dan, and I'm with Bikers Byways and Highways, and this is part of my series light called Dan's Tips. Hey, uh, what this one is about is about internet, uh, cell phone service, uh, the internet service, having a Wi-Fi, having a server in the in our RV that we travel full time with, uh, that I'll be able to do work with, and I won't have to worry about it or dependent on the Wi-Fi or the internet access at the campgrounds. So I did a lot of research on YouTube and other areas. And there's a lot of good solutions out there. I looked at them all, um, determined which one was best for me uh, based on what I saw out there, and decided to put this video together and show you what I came up with. So hopefully it'll help you out too. Um, the first thing is, um, the best solution I found was this uh, MoFi Wi-Fi is my preferred choice. And what it is, it is a 3G, 4G LTE router it gives you high, uh, faster Wi-Fi. And what it does, it basically takes in the signal from your local cell tower of your provider, uh, puts it in through uh, the antenna um, into the unit, and then it becomes a Wi-Fi where you can have a limited number of access units that can actually access it with secure ID that you gotta sign in with a password so no one can just hack it. The other thing is I can use my printer in the office, some Wi-Fi printer on it too, and it gets great speed. To give you an idea, I'm out here in uh, the land between the lakes and Kentucky Lake, between Kentucky Lake and um, Tennessee Lake. Got a campground out here, and when I first got here, uh, I set this up and I am getting good, almost as good as landline. I'm getting 28.2 Mbps download, and then the best part, because you want to be able to upload fast, I'm getting 9.12 megabytes per second. And that's pretty good because I can't even see the cell tower uh, that's here. Um, it's there because I can show you a, a app I use to um, set it up. So um, what I'm gonna do is um, show you how I did the setup. But the big thing was um, my dilemma is I wanted to make sure I could do this without putting a hole in the side of my unit, sticking the cables out through the window, putting a hole in my roof and voiding my um, warranty on the roof. So I did a lot of research and came up with them I'm about to show you. So hopefully this will help you out too. So let's go see what it was. All right, so I'm inside the trailer. Um, I looked at trying to put the cabling up through the vent for the refrigerator, for the exhaust, but that wasn't a viable option. I have to drill through too many cabinets to make it go up there. And I really didn't particularly like that because uh, the cabling is fairly thick and you can't bend it or it'll actually possibly snap or uh, degrade the um, signal coming through. Um, the other thing is I didn't want to put it back through the back of the toy hauler, through the garage and have to take it in and out and only use it when it was not raining. I wanted to be able to use this um, come rain, shine, wind, hot, cold, whatever, and be able to take it down and put it up really quickly. So the solution I came up with was I actually have my entertainment center up here where I've got my TV. And back behind the TV, I'm going to show you, um, there was actually access um, through here, right here, for the cables to come out of the TV to go down through the um, the cabinets here and I actually access the cabinet here to find and fish all of it to the under carriage the basement um, in the RV underneath the queen bed and then out through the um, water station. I'll show you how I did that. So what I decided to do was here's the Mophie unit right here. It's actually working. Um, I have my power source right here that I can plug into. I went ahead and it comes with four of these antennas. Of course, two of the antennas will be for the antennas for the input of the signal, and this is the output for the Wi-Fi um, server. Also in here, I've got my Verizon chip. Um, you can take any one of your chips that works in your current provider slash uh, server or whatever thing you're using, like a WeBoost or a Jetpack or whatever, and you can actually put it into this unit and use it. It'd be a good idea to check with Mophie um, which they're a great bunch of people. You can actually call them up and they will give you any information or tech help to get it done. But what I did was I went ahead and I was able to run my cables from here down into that area here and back down into the belly of the, the RV and back out. So we're gonna show you where I put that through. Okay, so here's the area I decided I was gonna put it. I have a slide out right here, um, two slide outs actually. And right here uh, in the basement, of course, 
I was able to bring um, all this stuff out, the storage, I was able to take some screws out, get in underneath there, fish those wires through, and I decided, since I could, uh, I didn't want to put a hole in the roof and obviously in the side, that I already had an access port for my cabling, my satellite, my water right through here uh, that you can screw uh, open or shut. So I decided to drill two, a small hole here to be able to put the two cables out through here and actually be able to store them here also. When I'm done, I actually roll it up, store it in here uh, with Velcro and it's fine. But I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any problems with any um, insects or bees or wasps being able to get in there because once this is shut, as you can see like this, it's pretty good. There's no problems. So I ran into this antenna right here, which is just nothing but a 16 foot extendable painters. And then I bought a Mofi um, antenna, which actually there's two antennas in there and that's why the Mofi works. Uh, there's a horizontal and vertical antenna and the two cables of course mount and they're pretty weatherized and it's also got a mount to put it on there. Um, so that works really good so I can extend it up and, and above, I can turn it where I need to depending on the signal. The other thing that was really important, I had to search a lot and that were these suction cups right here. Uh, there's only one company that makes them, they're called Techno RV, they're actually another uh, full-time RV uh, couple that sells those. Um, the, the link to these is in the video description below. They're very easy to use, but they work fantastic. I've had these in windstorms, rain, cold, hot, and no problems whatsoever. So that's part of my solution. So as you can see, I'll back up here. There's absolutely no hole in the roof. There's no hole in the side, and it works very good. Now let me show you how I set this up as far as figuring out where to point that antenna to get a cell tower. I'll show you the app. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the app I use. It's this open signal app you can download onto um, your phone. Um, I have an Android, so I can actually download it from the Android store, and it's free. So you just hit open signal, and I'm going to go down here and get location. Okay, right there. So as you can see, when I have that antenna hooked up, and as I move my phone, you can see it shows me the exact location, the closest cell tower from my provider. So it actually turned the antenna to point in that direction, and I get monitoring. It shows me it's Verizon Wireless. I've got four bars on the 4G and the Wi-Fi network. It's pretty good. It's medium right now. Uh, a lot of people out here at the campground, so it's probably being used pretty good. Um, but it's a cool app, and that's what I use to um, set it up to receive from there. Now you can also see the free Wi-Fi from the campground in here. You actually see it there. You could actually get into it if you need to. So that's what I use to set it up. All right, so once I have the cables hooked up to the antenna outside and I get it pointed to the correct uh, location of the uh, cell tower, next thing I do is just simply come in. I plug in the unit, lights come on, and when it's ready, it'll show the power routing status on, internet on, and Wi-Fi on. And it's pretty cool, so I'll come back and show you that. But while it's doing that, let me show you the wireless printer I'm using um, that I hooked up to here. It's real simple. All right, so back here in my office area, and right below my smart TV that we watch Netflix on back here when we want to, uh, there's power plugins, plenty of room. And so what I've done is I put up my HP OfficeJet Pro 8600 wireless printer. And I go ahead and keep the box, as you can see, I use it as a stand, plus when we move or on the road, I can put it right back in its original box and nothing will hurt it or damage it. And what I do is um, part of what you go through you need to set up this whole Wi-Fi thing is you need, uh, of course, your laptop. Um, they give you instructions how to log into their site, how to set it up, how to set up your passwords. Um, a lot more technical stuff I won't go into because um, uh, you can see that on any of the YouTubes out there um, and it can bore you to death if you're not a techie. So I'll leave that to them. But as you can see, it's simply that way. And then all I have to do is on my laptop or on my phones, I can send um, to the printer to print and there's no cables or anything involved. Just have to have it plugged into power and the Wi-Fi is going. So now you can see the uh, Mophie Wi-Fi is all set up. It is currently working. All the lights are on, so I can use it uh, with my cell phone, my printer, or laptops, or tablets, whatever we want to do. And like I said, it has an unlimited amount of devices you can connect to it. They just have to make sure you've got the password for it, um, and it is security, high, highly good security, so no one else can just get on it.
So that's my internet solution. I think it's pretty simple. It's fairly inexpensive. I think the most expensive part, of course, is the Mophie uh, Wi-Fi network unit you gotta get, depending on where you buy it. If you get through Amazon, it's the cheapest you're gonna get. Um, the other things you're gonna have to get are uh, two 25 foot low loss coax extension cables, 50 OHM. Um, that's what they've uh, specified is the best you can use for the uh, increased signal to make sure it doesn't degrade. Um, and I only use 25 foot because that's all I need to go as far as from the Wi Fi location out uh, through the area I showed you onto the side of my vehicle. Um, you're going to need one Proxycast 4G LTE cross polarized MIMO 7.10 dBi high grain fixed mount panel antenna, which is the one I showed you. You need those two suction cups, which are from uh, Techno RV, um, and they're really great um, suction cups to use. They're pretty sturdy. I think I could probably pull the side of my uh, panel off the side of my RV if I wasn't careful. Um, and that. Oh, and of course, just the pole. You need a painter's uh, pole, a 16-foot extendable or larger, in case you think you need it, um, to hook it up and have it go. So it, it's not bad at all. I think you'd be very pleased with it. I was, and it's extremely easy to put up, take down, um, and it's very mobile and very durable. So you get plenty of speed. You get the 28.2 megabytes per second download, and the all-important, 9.12 uh, megabytes per second upload because uh, that's where you really need your speed is when you're uploading your videos and, and that so so if you have any questions about this by all means or if you want to purchase this equipment uh, down below in the description of this YouTube video I have the links to get those from Amazon and Techno RV all you gotta do is click on it and, and go right to it and buy them and we'll have them shipped to you um, it doesn't cost you any extra money to do that the other thing I want to mention is if you like this video down here please subscribe and whenever i put out a new video youtube will notify you so you can take a look at it and by all means if you like any of the other equipment i have listed there uh on my rv gear uh, or, or the internet gear um by all means um go ahead and use it so hopefully you enjoyed that again this is dan from bikers byways and highways and i hope the solution works for you too